Welcome to the Great Panda Poke Around, as we poke around in this new snapshot of the upcoming Minecraft update, Village and Pillage. And what we're trying to do here is find pandas, that's the essentials of it. And so we'll concentrate on that, but we will look at a few other things along the way. Hopefully we'll be able to get a crossbow involved, because they're new. And maybe even brew up some suspicious stew, which is like a, a mushroom stew with flowers added that convey potion effects. There's an igloo over there. I don't think I've actually seen one of these in the wild before. So we do actually need to find a bamboo forest, or a fa bamboo jungle, uh, which is a variant of the regular jungle. Let's have a look inside. This will be a good hunting spot for spiders, because we need string for our crossbow. Oh! I panicked, because I saw a... <laughs> uh, I saw a redstone torch in there, and yeah, things kind of escalated from there. For the, for the crossbow, we need um, a three sticks, two string, one iron ingot, uh, and a tripwire hook, which requires a further iron ingot, plus... Oh, we do, actually do need some wood for that. So let's see if I've actually got my... Where's my axe? I've oh, really only got that shitty axe. Bloody hell. And now when you actually um, um, punch leaves, you sometimes get sticks dropped, which I think is new. I can't see a thing now. Hmm. <laughs> Not even sure I'm actually hitting wood there. Uh, let's go back. I think there was actually a, a skelly. Oh, because there's, there's everything everywhere at the moment. Uh, okay. Let's bring up a little safety thing. And see if we can actually get our crossbow sorted. And this is the crossbow. Stick iron ingot, blah blah blah. The tripwire hook is not too difficult. And is it going to give me a... No, it's not. Oh, there it is. Tripwire hook. So we need one of them, one of them, and one of them. So first of all, get you. Uh, do we have any sticks? We've got sticks, we've got iron. So this should work. There we go. So we've got one of them. Now we need to have a look at the crossbow again. And we can make it. We've actually got everything. And there we go. Crossbow. We don't actually have any arrows, though, so we do need to kill a few skellies, I think. And then we'll actually be able to fight back. But yeah, I think a, sh a shield as well, before we go on. Run! Oh god, there's everything else there and all now. Oh! Ow! Got shot in the head. Anyway, never mind that. Um, we've got everything we need now. I've got, got a couple of arrows, so I will be able to, hopefully, there's nothing to shoot. Even the creepers have despawned. Eh, that's not a problem. Let's let's move onwards. Now we've got ourselves a crossbow. Let's try and actually find this goddamn bamboo jungle. Uh, I promise not to shoot the panda in the head. Actually, I can't make that promise. Snow bunny! I can shoot you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Two achievements or um, advancements in one go. Come on, you little red-eyed bastard. There we go. Delicious. Rabbit meat. Actually, finally got some meat. It's been a while. Hmm. So yeah, just right-click to hold to actually... Well, I can't, I can't do it anymore because I've run out of arrows. But you... you, you you hold right click and then you click it again to shoot. Uh, which took me a bit of getting used to there, but managed to get the bunny meat in the end. That's the main thing. We can do a bat. Probably down there somewhere. So this is Taiga. Ooh. Also some mushies. If we're going to make some suspicious stew, we will need mushies. Red, brown, bowl, and flour. We'll get some flowers whilst I'm at it. So I've seen red mushrooms, but I haven't seen any brown. And because we're in Tega, we may even see a fox, if that's been added already. Ooh, brown mushies. Ow. Ah, we may be able to make ourselves a bit of stew then. Let's make sure that we've got plenty of wood, because it seem to be quite low on that. So I haven't replaced this axe yet. Never mind. Let's go over here where there's a bit more light. Bung down our workbench, first of all. 
balls. <laughs> Missed. There we go. I believe the mushroom recipe now is shapeless, so you can do it any way you want. But if you want to make a suspicious stew, there we go. Suspicious stew. Now, different flowers have different effects, different potion effects. So let's have a go with that. Now, let's put in that red flower as well. So we've got a different kind. They don't stack. So let's have a go with you. This, I believe, is the yellow thing. Oh, it's a speedo. Dandelions make you go fasto. Um, where's actually, where did you actually see those effects? Oh, well, it's gone now anyway. It was in the top right only, wasn't it? Okay, let's try the other, the other stew. This is the red. Oh, I'm full up. Oh, God. I'll, that'll have to wait then. Um, yeah, I'll try and make some stew with other stuff as we go. But it looks like dandelions do speed you up. But you, you can only, yeah, apparently you can only eat stew when you're not full. So you can't just use it as a easy way of getting loads of effects. Anyway, give me those mushies. There we go. That'll be good for the stew later. So I'm abandoning the taiga. I've done a bit more research and it seems like foxes aren't actually in yet. <laughs> if, if, if ever. So I'm not going to worry about that. So I need to continue my look for the jungle. There's a hell of a mountain over there. Get some of you. I shall aim vaguely in that direction because it looks quite mad. Bloody polar bears all over the place. Also, that's rather um, charming village on a hillside, uh, which is in the Taiga. Huh. Not too bothered about them. Apparently, these um, the pillagers and illager beasts, you have to spawn them in manually at the moment, in the, in the current snapshot. Later snapshots presumably will find a way of adding them naturally. I'm not quite sure how they'll actually work. But, hmm. Oh, there's a jungle, I think. Probably just a regular jungle. Let's have a look. Something goes very, very bright green. So this is, yeah, regular. Sadly, this is just regular jungle, according to this, the de the debug stuff. You never know; it might turn into a different sort of jungle. Oh God, this is impenetrable. Apparently, the um the bamboo ones are less cluttered. The more sparse. Probably don't really want to go into the hut. Oh, is that bamboo? Oh, um, what is that? <laughs> well, it sounded bamboo-ish. It is. It's bamboo. Bamboo. Uh, it's getting a bit dark. I'm not quite sure why there was like just one bit of bamboo and nothing else. Maybe just getting. Just occasional bits of bamboo in a regular forest. We do need to actually settle down for the night. So I've also got a couple of new stews to check out. One of them's um, from a white flower and one's from a blue. Ooh, regen. I think that was white. Yeah. That's useful to know. That one looks like... Is that a bigger jump? Well, just speed up. It feels like a... I think it was a very temporary jump situation. Well, got one little bit of bamboo. There's another jungle there. It looks less... it looks less cluttered, so I wonder if that's... No, it's, I can't really see any bamboo there. Hmm. We'll have a look. Maybe we'll score some good panda action. Apparently they are quite rare, and they come in variants. Uh, they've, also, they've got personalities, apparently. The naughty little fellas. Oh, wow. I think I've seen a... I think there. I think that's the... I've, 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 we found it, I think. <laughs> that looks very bamboo, jungle-ish. It's more bamboo than jungle. Let's get out of the video game kelp area. Probably, let's let's have a kip. Oh, wow. Where's my bed gone? I just, um, I just mashed a few buttons and my bed disappeared into the depth of my inventory. Yeah, let's have a kip. The old Kipperoo. What was that? <laughs> I heard a sound. I'm going to leave that bed there, just in case things go awry. Maybe the pandas have got guns fighting back after all this time. Right, off we go. A little bit of swimming. 
This is a very fast way of getting around. Also, if you go to the surface... Oh, no, I popped out a bit too much there. Surface swimming seems to be the best, because you can see what's going on. But, yeah, <laughs> too late. Here we go! Bamboo jungle of jungliness. There's a welcoming bit of bamboo, and then we get into the heart of things, eventually. Let's actually, let's actually um, eat some pork chop. There we go. Oh, wow! You're not kidding when it's um, when they say bamboo jungle. Right, pandas! Panda! Panza! Panza! Wow. Ha! <laughs> it's quite easy to navigate. I mean, it it is solid. But, yeah, you can slide your way through quite easily. Right, so pandas. Anyone see, anyone see it? Oh, uh, <laughs> it's a spinny spidery lad. And also, is that a cow? It might be a cow. It is just a cow. Just a cow. And also, hmm. These are very strange. Oh, mushrooms! No, oh, I can't get through there. Oh, I can't get. Now I can't get through anywhere. Oh, you can just. Yeah. <laughs> the old tonkaroo seems to be a good way of doing it. Oh, axes, axes don't do so well. I think it's probably because that's a, a crappy wooden axe. Let's just confirm this. Bamboo jungle biome. Yes. This doesn't look... Oh, God, I was going to say it doesn't look huge. Yes, it does. I'll try and find a bloody bollocksing panda. It could be anywhere. Apparently they do spawn on grass blocks. I've run out. Oh, God. Plenty of cows. Weirdly. I must restate that the um, pandas are rare. So it's rarer than parrots, apparently. Here we go. Panda. Hello. So apparently they are docile. They're peaceful, unless... I think they can go into neutral... Well, I'm not sure if they can attack. It's your lucky day. I don't have any arrows. It's a bit of a watch. It makes a funny little squeaking noise. Hang on, I think you can attract it with bamboo. Here we go. Follow me to... I actually have no idea where my, um, my bed is anymore. I have a little base. Just a little base. Follow me. Follow me. What do I do, what, what do, I do with you? Apparently they, um, they occasionally lie down and roll over and stuff like that. Face is a bit miffed looking. Also, can it climb? Oh, it can. It's very slow. Very slow. Oh, oh, oh yep. Yeah, okay, I'm, um, it's, it's mad, but just a little mad. I think it's a, it has a retaliatory nature, but not a full-on hello, <laughs> full-on getcha sort of nature. Hmm. I think I might just leave it be for the time being. See what it can do. I mean, it's... Hang on, let's... Careful. I'm trying, I'm trying not to kill it. I'm trying to make some space for our lad. <laughs> the mighty panda. Well, it's not really doing much in the way of rolling around at the moment. We really could do with a friend. A hungry little fella. So I've just popped into creative mode to spawn us some, well, get us some more eggs to spawn so we can actually see what they're like in a group. Apparently there's a, there's a certain rarity to them. They're like, you can get a very rare brown one. I have loads of them. Normally I think they only spawn in one, possibly two, and there's also babies. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a baby! Look, there's a baby! Oh, look at the baby! He's got, got his little tongue out. 
What well, that means anything? Some of them do. Look, he's got a slightly different face. He's got like green dots. What well, that means? Oh, look, the panda, the the babies, um, do a little jumpy thing. There's quite a lot of panda, um, baby pandas around. So they do a little backflip. It's really cool. Huh. See you there. Oh, oh. There you go. Oh, he's having a bit of a flip as well. Oh, bloody hell. You realize the big ones could do it? Maybe he's... I think he's got a playful face. An acrobatic panda. Oh, they're all at it now. So yeah, apparently they do have personalities. It's just um, which happen at ran random when they spawn. So it looks like there's a like a playful bouncy variant. I think that's him. He likes the playful bouncy va variant. With his little tongue out. Although he's not doing much bouncing now. Mate, mate, mate! Silly sod. And I think that's quite enough of pandas.